Let's look at the lower arch now. So because we are working on the lower, we are going to tilt our patient up slightly. Now I sometimes see students like really tilted up. They do not need to be sitting up. It's just a slight tilt. So if you think of your maxillary as having the occlusal of the maxillary perpendicular to the floor, it's just a little bit of a tip up. So I'm going to start with the anteriors with the surfaces toward me. I am at the nine o'clock position. I do not need my mirror for this, so I am going to retract with my finger. And I can get up on my fulcrum on the incisal edge here, working on all the surfaces towards me. As I move to this last canine, I'm up on the buckle cusp tip of number 21. And then I can grab my mirror, I'm still at nine o'clock, and I can have an external rest, and I'm back on my mirror a little bit, and then I can do all the surfaces towards me, coming back in my direction as a right-handed clinician. So for the surfaces away from me on the lower fronts, you can have the patient turn towards you a little bit if you want, but I'm gonna come behind them from 11 to one and retract their lip. And I am up on the incisal a little bit towards the buckle as I do the facial surfaces away from me. Moving my retraction finger as I come back. And then I can put my mirror in the patient's mouth. I can rest either extra orally or I can have a intraoral fulcrum here. I'm using my mirror to push back a little bit against their tongue as I do all the surfaces away from me. Again, with my fulcrum up on the incisal edge as I move across. Now let's do the mandibular posteriors. I'm going to retract just like we did on the top with my mirror. And then it gives me some vision as well as some illumination. And I'm hoping I'm not going to block the camera here, but I can then kind of go back on my instrument just a little bit and fulcrum on the lingual cusps. So I'm not fulcruming on the lingual, I'm on the lingual cusp tips. And then onto the incisal edges of the anteriors as I move forward. To do the um, opposite side, which I can also do from the nine o'clock position, I'm going to use the side of the mirror to retract the tongue. And then I can also kind of scooch back on my instrument a little bit as I reach to the back, I am fulcruming kind of on the premolars at the moment. And move forward. And then I can come up to the 11 o'clock position, place my mirror in, and retract. And again, I hope my hand doesn't get in the way, but I am on the cusp tips of the premolars at the moment. And then coming up onto the incisals of the anteriors as I move forward. From this same 11 o'clock position, I can retract the tongue, and this time I'm using it for indirect vision as well. I'm up on the incisals here and moving across. Again, as you move further back, you may need to kind of um, not be as choked up on your instrument. And students sometimes wonder if they have enough control. It's gonna really depend what kind of stroke you are taking. If you need to remove a heavy deposit, then yes, you will need to be fulcrumed a little bit closer, so you might need to scooch in a little bit. If you're exploring or probing, it's okay to be a little bit further away.